Yeah. I'm right here. Like, like that, just, that's the thing. I'm, I'm sad, right here. You like, you, you want to go out there with me? I'm saying we're not black. Right now, we can see so we right now. We I mean, I, I don't know you, and unless, that's the thing. You're unless, trying to get to know me, but you're wanted, not even talking to me. I'm saying, I'm talking around to get to know me. you, bro. But you're talking you around me. Like, like you can't answer no questions. No, I asked you. Can she answer seemed, the same little, question. She seemed a little too ignorant to be a uh, sister. Ignorant? Right? Ignorant? Oh, you're running your Listen, mouth. I'm just you're saying, running your mouth. Sister's supposed to you're make everything easy. You're making it hard for me. I am, am I? That's probably because you're not working for me. That's what that means. No. You ain't working for me, so I, everything gotta be hard on me. I guess so. What 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 what's up, man? Oh, I'm trying you're, you're to get I'm trying to get her to work for me too, man. Hey, man. Like, I need you life need to easy. Just talk man, you gotta talk to like, her. Like, right like, now, right. Man. No, you're not. Oh, you're talking to your, you right. talking to your, you talking to yourself. So what's up? How would you? What's up? Oh, okay. Like who mm. does that? I'm saying, you know, we could start off with a hand, and then you could come over and get an arm. An arm. Like, get, to know, right. get to know each okay. other. Alright, we don't do that in New York. No one just be all up on somebody we don't know. Like, I'm saying we get <laughs> Ayo, what's happening? What's going on, MDB family? Alright, y'all. So, before I jump into today's video, be sure to watch to the end. This is gonna be a crazy video. I have a great video topic for y'all today. Now, before we start, I have a group chat on Instagram called The Red Pill Zone. Now, this is a community group chat on my Instagram strictly for my high value guys on this channel so if you are high value and subscribe to this channel be sure to send me a request down below link in the description it's called my man's daily bread so that's my business page so all you got to do is send me a message and we'll send you an invite so this group is filling up really fast so in this group chat you'll learn about female nature business motivation everything under the sun to make sure you as a man become greater every single day at least one percent better so that's the goal you know what i'm saying so if you are interested send us a request down below linked in description dealing with an alpha female y'all guys <sighs> alpha females man it's it's it's, it's becoming a problem honestly because i must be some real game in this video and y'all y'all are experiencing this right now and y'all having some problems with it i have problems with it too right i have some problems with it too i'm not gonna lie like we all are human you know what i'm saying i'm not i'm not the terminator you know what i'm saying i'm not perfect i'm not perfect cell you know what i'm saying i'm a human right we make mistakes so i'm here to help you guys help guide you guys on how to deal with alpha females today these females are getting prescribed the alpha pill from society you know what i'm saying these women are being taught by the propaganda right remember we're dealing with women that listen to megan the stallion hot girls hot like the city girls um cardi b you know the wop right these these hoes are getting their head blowed up with all this bullshit right <laughs> become independent you don't need no man get your own bag you know what i'm saying you don't need no man be a nigga act like a nigga be in touch with your masculine so you don't get dicked around by these guys and it never ends right so there's two ways these females can become alpha females right it's either one influence so remember i just said cardi b city girls megan the stallion all this like the, the rap artists the the music which is the most influential thing for a woman the most influential thing for a woman is music right when they listen to this thing it's a powerful thing it's a powerful thing spiritually too right so they get all these tips on how to become more like a nigga right how to move independently even though by nature a woman is supposed to be kind of an assistant to a high value guy or a guy a very masculine guy right that's supposed to hold her down but she want to be the one that's holding the nigga down right so one is influence two is she's maybe been hurt in the past guys she's been hurt when she's really been submissive she feels like she's vulnerable when she's most submissive to a guy that treats her like shit and she's tired of being treated like shit you know what i'm saying she's tired of the um the games that these these toxic guys us guys we alpha guys we play with them you know they're tired of it they're tired of their heart being broken you know what i'm saying so they're gonna 
try to, you know, rest in peace, Chadwick Boseman, but like, they try to cover up that shit. They try to cover up their heart. They try to protect that shit. So what they do is, they beat up their chest, act like they're alpha. I'm a nigga. You can't touch me now. You know, my feelings, my emotions are not going to be so easily manipulated by y'all niggas. I'm a nigga. So what they're going to do is they're going to act like one, right? They're going to act like one. They're going to try to try to be the man of the relationships, right? And most of the time, they attract beta males, guys, and beta males, guys that are more in touch with their female and the mo more emotional guys, more in touch with their female side, right? They're more emotional you know what i'm saying so they love that because they get to take control they get to take control of them and they just feel good right which is kind of fucked up but that's how they are right that's how the alpha females are so how do you deal with them as an alpha male you just deal with them you know what i'm saying because i got a question from somebody that asked me this like how do you deal with alpha females you really don't they're not best for getting into relationships with them especially if you are a true alpha male you don't want to be getting into no relationships with them why because you're gonna be button heads every single day it's gonna be a fucking headache for you guys because you know they're always gonna be the one trying to step over you or they're always gonna want to try to you know one up you you know what i'm saying or push your buttons right hey you can dom bitch you can dom alpha bitches for the night you can you can they can be bouncing on your dick creaming all over this shit right it still applies if you run your dom game right if you are doming these bitches out yeah you can bust on their face yeah you can give her because you know what i'm saying but you gotta you gotta be in your masculine frame you gotta hold frame at all times and some of it's hard for y'all sometimes it's very hard for y'all to hold frame even though i hate the word hold frame for guys because us guys we shouldn't have to hold frame it should be naturally within us because we are guys we don't have to naturally we sorry we don't have to pretend that we're masculine or we're in our masculine frame that's the only thing i don't kind of agree with when ams says that oh you got to be in your masculine frame to win bitches over no like it should be naturally oozed out of you that aura should be already naturally there. You don't have to hold frame. The alpha female has to hold frame because the alpha female, she does. It's not natural for her to act like a nigga. It's not natural for to her, for her to act like a masculine guy, right? She's very in tune with her emotions. She's just covering. She's just putting that shield on so that she doesn't get hurt easily by the typical alpha alpha male. So guys. The one thing you cannot do when handling an alpha female is to accept or to take all the disrespect she gives you, right? Now guys, I've been on a date with an alpha female before. Don't get me wrong, they're a headache. One girl tried to come late on the date and I had to check her because the minute, guys, the minute you decide to brush off the disrespect of any kind of any cal of any capacity of any caliber right she will run with it okay guys she will run with that power and it'll go straight to her head <laughs> fuck this nigga <laughs> he let me he let me come late on the date let's see how far i can push him right now guys i just did it because Again, before, I just did it for the reference experience, right, guys? I, honestly, I knew better, right? But I'm still human. I wanted to see for myself if, you know, I could really do it. And I then ended up not doing it because the amount of things that she threw out seemed like she was really just trying to dom me, you know what I'm saying? And I don't like that. I'm a high value guy. I get to choose whether or not I like to stay or I have to stay or if I want to even fuck with her. You know what I'm saying? I have other options or I can go straight back to my purpose because in all honesty, guys, you don't have to deal with an alpha female, right? But if you really, really want to keep watching, right? So guys, you want to, you want to be very covert in their conversation. What is, what is being covert and not be overt? Over is you saying stuff very sexually, right? Overtly saying things that are obviously 
what you mean because guys you don't really it doesn't work with an alpha female you gotta be you kind of you have to be smooth you have to really be in your masculine bag right guys you can't just be like oh baby shh, shh, come bounce on daddy's dick like you can't do that for real guys you can't you can't you have to be smooth with it you know what i'm saying kind of like if you guys know who miami the kid is if i'm saying his name right there's a video of him actually dealing with an alpha female i might link it in the description for y'all guys to watch that but just really watch his body language guys his body language is very relaxed he's not really antsy he's not really perked up he's like chilling you know what i'm saying he doesn't he doesn't give too much away she looked like she's in an interview right she looks like she's in an interview and miami the kid is the employer he's trying to study see if she really is about that life right you kind of have to you kind of have to treat the girl like she's beneath you you can't treat her like she's above you because then she will run over you right alpha females you gotta you have to kind of chip away at them if that makes sense you gotta have to do things that make it seem like you are alpha even if you aren't guys but for my guys that are alpha it's 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 easy it's easy it's like dealing with any other girl but an alpha female is just a little bit more challenging you know what i'm saying she's gonna test you a little bit more she's gonna test to see if you are really masculine right and with these alpha females they don't really like to for you to be soft you kind of have to be assertive you have to be aggressive right if you see she's giving you body language like in the video she started to change her body language to, and sit because they were these guys both of them were sitting in the couch right and she she had her legs crossed i'm not gonna do it on camera <laughs> but she had her legs crossed and she was it wasn't really pointing towards him right but as soon as he started to lay back and started to you know so it was good with you you know what i'm saying with his he started to lower his voice and his tonality and started to you know look her up and down you know what i'm saying and kind of covertly communicated to her while she was trying to you know what i'm saying every time she brought up a topic Every time the alpha fema brought up a topic, she he tried to turn it back into something sexual. Very covertly though. He never once said anything outlandish like come bounce on his dick or come give me head. Yo, stop playing, come give me head. He didn't say anything overtly like that. He would always change up the conversation, keep on the same topic, but at least make his um put his little sexual spin on it which is convert right and he made that covertly and then she got turned on by that right because he was still challenging her and she and that's an, that's another thing guys when you do these things it's a it's another emotional point that plays with the woman's mind especially alpha female it's to help you know boost the waves in the emotional ocean for for a woman for a female it creates an emotional roller coaster right and that's what you want so when he was just chilling she started to turn shift her body language towards him which is a good sign right you got to be a little bit more aggressive you got to kind of you got to have to ship closer to her you know take the touch barrier as fast as possible with these women because they really want to they really want to feel your masculinity they really want to feel it guys to make sure you are the real deal right guys and at the end of the day guys if she's not with your program bye bye you don't have to force it anything if she's really not feeling it bye bye you know what i'm saying you don't have to stay there and try to prove yourself that you are good for her you are good enough to give her bakas because guys like if she's not handled, if she's not with it she can go you know what i'm saying there's other women in your phone you know you have abundance you have an abundance mindset hopefully you know you don't need this girl don't be in a scarcity right don't call her back she will call you you know what i'm saying you don't have to do all that right and that's it for today's video man like comment subscribe share the fucking video as always guys check me out on instagram i do free one-on-one -on -one consultations so if you need help if you have any questions at all that needs to be answered hit me up my dms are always open before you leave guys check out these videos i have on screen peace